Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video, the first one of 2019. So exciting. So today I'm going to show you all about the really awesome thing called Elementor. And what this is, it's a drag and drop editor that gives you the functionality of something like Divi or something like lead pages. It's especially amazing if you're coming from a Wix or a Weebly or even a Squarespace site because it has that kind of feel, but a lot more functionality and control over your design and what you can do. So I've gone ahead and installed Elementor, and I've also installed this plugin here called Essential Add-ons for Elementor, which gives you, they're both free plugins, and they just give you more little widgets and stuff to play with on your, on your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new page. Page. And I'm gonna give my page a little title. Clean around. And then I'm gonna hit edit with Elementor. And this is gonna open up this new screen for us. So there's a few things that I can do here. I can create a page with the sidebar, I can create it a full width page, or I can create a page that is just completely blank that I can use for a landing page. And the way to do that is to go into settings and page layout. So I can go Elementor full width, so it still has the menu up top, or on the footer as well, or I can go Elementor canvas and create a lovely little landing page for myself. Now they have templates already ready to go if I want to use those. And you have two different options for that. So I'm going to show you first the page templates. So any of these that say pro, obviously you need the upgraded option for that. That's completely up to you if you want to upgrade. There are a lot of benefits to upgrading, but it's not required. There's a lot you can do even without the, the upgrade. If there's nothing written up top, that means you can definitely go ahead and use it. And what this does is, for example, it inserts this page with all of this already in there. So there's nothing for you to do. Like it, the design's already done. You just click insert in one button and it's done. Takes a minute though, especially when you have by it today. <laughs> the joys of living in Southern Italy. Um, but once it pulls everything in, you'll see it's all ready to go. And here it is. So you, now you can see the page is already ready and I can just add everything in. Now, let's say I don't like this. If I want to get rid of these blocks, all I have to do is delete them with this little button here. It's a little X and I can get rid of them. All of them are gone. Almost all of them are gone. All of them are still gone. Now they're all gone. Okay. So what I also like to use in Elementor, and this is especially beneficial when I'm doing designs, is called blocks. Now what these are, are there different sections. So what I can do is I can have an FAQ section, I can have a nice header section up top, right here. This is a great one for a header up top. Amazing for a landing page, for a home page, uh, really any kind of page you wanna have in this nice little header up top that tells them what's going on. And then I can add more blocks. Oops, that's what I want. Uh, I can add a little about area. And if I wanna keep going, I can add some lovely features. Let's see, where's a good one? Mm, I think we can do better than that one. As you can see, they have testimonials. Oh, I like this one. We can add these features in here. They have call to action sections. They're all set up and then all I need to do is click on the item and I can edit it. So let's say I want to edit this image here. 
All I have to do is click on it, click on right here, and I can make it anything I want. Whatever. Mm, let's make a jellyfish. Now let's say you see how this is all black on the background here. Let's say I want to change that color. What I want to do is actually change the background of the section. So I just click these little dots right here and I click style and I can change the color. Now we can make it green. Wasn't that fun? Now this goes the same for any of your text elements. So all I need to do is go into style, uh, go into typography. I can change the font. They have all the Google fonts here. So I can pretty much make it any font I want. Same with the colors. I can add in my color code. Ooh, that went way too many. I can change around here. I have the whole color wheel at my disposal to do whatever I like. Buttons, I can change the shape. I can change the style. If I want to make a rounded button, I can add a border radius and it makes it oval. I can make it grow, I can, if I click on hover, it'll change the style of when someone looks over it. That's on pretty much the same on a lot of different blocks on here. So let's see, let's say I don't want to add in a block. Let's say I want to have my own little design that I want to add in. So what I can do is select my structure. And let's say I want this one here. And I can go and I can select the widget I want. So I have videos. I have image boxes. There's um, like literally a hundred different things I can add on here. I can add post grids. I can add countdown clocks. Where's a really good one? They have a nice pricing box in here. They have fancy text there. So the pricing box. These are really awesome for a sales page to have this little pricing box on here and have the different options. And you can have the button go directly where you need to go. This does take some time to play around with, and, but again, if you're used to using something like Squarespace or Wix or one of those kinds of editors, it really, really makes it nice and easy to build out your website. So if you guys have any questions about this, just let me know. I hope this helps you in your landing page and sales page and web design functions of all kind. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.